what happened yesterday really is a, an illustration of how even though we think of the internet as this great decentralized system uh, that there are a small number of technologies and a small number of companies that really have a lot of sway over how the internet actually behaves. Here we had a, a, a simple configuration mistake by a single company and a set of its engineers have this domino effect that caused a, a fairly major outage for a number of really popular applications. And, and part of that is because there really is this very strong dependence on the underlying routing system of the internet to get traffic to and fro, to get users to their Facebook accounts, to their WhatsApp accounts, and so on. And in, in, in an ironic sort of way, the things that people do to make their uh, internet applications work better, like adding automation, uh, that, that, that generally is a good thing to do. But unfortunately, what happened here because of a configuration mistake was there was an automation of this outage happening at grand scale uh, and very quickly. And so the Border Gateway Protocol is the glue that holds the disparate parts of the internet together. And there's sort of tens of thousands of separately administered networks that make up the internet. And they learn how to reach one another by a diffusion of information. So somebody has a, an application like Facebook, they will tell their, the neighboring networks they connect to that they're the best way to reach those destinations on the internet. And those networks in turn will propagate that information to others. And so that's how someone on the other side of the internet can reach a network like that hosts Facebook's content, even if they're not directly connected to that network themselves. And what happened here was because of a configuration mistake, some of that information was no longer being propagated, including not only how to reach Facebook itself, but also how to look up the name uh, facebook.com itself. So people weren't able to uh, have their browsers look up that information. And even Facebook's own engineers weren't able, in many cases, to get back into the systems that needed to be fixed. 